Hi, my name's Keith Smith. I'm a freelance PHP programmer, and I've been a freelance PHP programmer since 2006. And I'd like to teach you everything I know. Today, I'm going to go over HTML paragraphs. Pretty simple, pretty easy. So uh, up on your screen right now, you should see some code uh, that's in my editor. And um, let's get started. OK, so this is what I do. I, I write up the lesson in the code editor so that we can see how HTML is created and how it looks in the browser. And then I display it in the browser. Let's get this a little bit bigger. So um, yeah, there we go. OK, so we're, we're going to cover HTML paragraphs. And the HTML paragraph tag is this guy right here, the paragraph, a P for paragraph, it defines the paragraph. So let's go look at the code and see what the code looks like. Here's a paragraph. OK, so we have the starting P for the paragraph, the uh, paragraph tag, and the closing tag. And in between, we have some content. We have another one here. Notice we have some spaces. I'll get back to that in a little bit. Here's uh, another paragraph, opening paragraph, closing paragraph tag. And then I have a, the last one, a paragraph tag here, and a paragraph tag here. OK, so let's talk about this. In HTML, we do not have control over the number of spaces we embed in our text and the number of lines between the paragraphs. The browser will automatically remove extra spaces and extra lines. There is a way to add extra spaces. A commonly used entity in HTML is the non-breaking space. This would be this guy right here. OK, so when you put that in your code, uh, it will create a, a space. And notice there's a space right there, and I'll jump right back into it in a second and show you why that is. And cascading style sheets, which we haven't covered, but we will in the future, can be used to uh, set the space between the lines. Okay, so let's look at the code and see what's happening here. So in the code, it's on this line right here. You'll notice it says strong, ampersand, and then the, this other code right here. Okay, this is an HTML entity. I've covered this before, but if you haven't seen any of my other videos, this is an HTML entity, and the way to, and the reason you do that is because uh, there was an ampersand right here, and if I just put the ampersand and BSP and then the colon, or the semicolon, what happens is, uh, that will be acted upon by the browser, and the browser will add a space. Okay, so right here, there's a bunch of spaces. See, this is what a, a non-breaking space looks like. Notice the ampersand. Look over here. This is amp. This is a HTML entity, and I, I've covered this before, but you use this so it can be displayed. So let's go back over here and see if we can find it. Uh, see, it's displayed. And then there's there's several spaces here. So let's go back to the code. OK, so there's three spaces that I added using the non, uh, non-breakable space. OK, we can use the non-breakable space and cascading style sheets to format our paragraphs. Uh, and, and we'll get more into the uh, cascading style sheets down the, down the road. Notice this. This is text. Okay, let's go look at it again. See, it says strong. This makes a, a it makes your text bolded most of the time. Strong. This is a paragraph strong, and then a br and a br. Brs are, are carriage returns. So the first one does a carriage return. The second one adds a vacant uh, a vacant line or an empty line. Uh, let's go back and look at that. So this is a paragraph. It was bolded. There's a BR right here, which is a carriage return. There's another BR, BR here, which creates a uh, blank line. So these are all little tricks you'll learn. And as you play with uh, HTML, it will become uh, apparent to you how to do things. Now, remember I talked about the extra spaces, 
right here there's extra spaces right here there's extra spaces this is an extra line this is under this is a paragraph let's go look at it this is a paragraph notice the lines are gone and the extra spaces are gone the only extra spaces you have is right here and we did that with a non-breakable space okay so this is text right here it's bolded text using the strong tag h2 tag right here let's go look at it in the code um h2 tag okay this is uh lorem ipsum and you'll notice that uh the h2 and the one i did where uh i bolded just uh some some text take a look here see this is bolded text and this is an h2 now remember there's only one h1 per article and you can have multiple H2s, as many as you need, H3s, all the way up to H6. Uh, and I did a, a, a video on that already. So notice there's extra spaces. They don't show up over here. Uh, see, that's all run together. Uh, so this is automatically how it's uh, formatted uh, with, with uh, your browser. So HTML gets formatted automatically. Uh, and, and we'll go over how to use cascading style sheets and some other things uh, to um, address those and make things look the way you want them to look. Okay, so let's see what we have so far. Um, okay, this is a short lesson. Let's go back to the top of this uh, of the, of the code and we'll notice here's the title, meta tag. That's what shows up in your browser. Uh, let's go back to the browser. See right here, the meta tag or the browser tab says paragraphs. If we go back to the code, title, and this is used in other things too. It's a big SEO thing, uh, but this is in the head, so it doesn't show up uh, in, in the uh, article or the page content. So we did an H1. We did a, a paragraph. We did some entities, the strong tag and <clears throat> lorem epsom which i've covered in the past and if you if you haven't seen my prior videos lorem epsom is just some uh, fake text used by designers so they can put text in where they would have text to see what the uh the layout looks like okay so this is my my what we covered let's go look at it over here okay i just showed you we we in the head, we have the title, we have an H1 and an H2, and we have uh, a paragraph tag, which is what this uh, lesson is about, paragraph tags. There's a starting tag, there's an ending tag, and there's three sets of those in this code, maybe four. And let's go back and so, uh, line breaking tag, the BR, we went over that. Uh, it, it acts like a carriage return. A non-breaking space, this guy right here. Uh, if you want to add spaces, you'll have to use that because when you put spaces in there uh, in, in your code or your text or whatever, uh, the browser is going to automatically remove them. So if you want more spaces, you have to use this non-breaking space, this guy right here. I, I mentioned cascading style sheets, so we will go over in the future uh, after we get done learning uh, HTML, then we will uh, learn cascading style sheets, and you'll be amazed at the things you're able to do. We went over HTML entities. Let's go see if we can find one real quick. Uh, here's an HTML entity right here. Okay, that would normally look like this in the code, uh, the title. But when we take the HTML entities, or when we add the HTML ent entities, I took the left bracket, replaced it with an HTML entity, and the right bracket with another HTML entity. And what it does is it causes title to be displayed, and you'll see it like this, title, and it's not acted upon, it's shown. So that's HTML entities, and I've mentioned that a few times, and we're going to keep going over all this stuff because I want you to learn it all. Okay, so uh, where are we here? Line break, non-like break space, uh, HTML entities. 
we, we went over lorem ipsum text and its use. Uh, <clears throat> we haven't gone over the, we've, we've gone over this before, but we need to go over it again. Okay, this is an unordered list. There's the opening tag and there's the closing tag. And then inside of that, you'll, this is your list item. The list item opening tag and your list item closing tag. And each one of these is an item. Let's go back and look. So here we go. Uh, your unordered lists, your UL, your line item, your LI, and we went over strong um, in the beginning here somewhere up at the top. Uh, remember I told you if you use strong, uh, it makes your text look bolded under most circumstances. Uh, you can, I think you could probably change that under cascading style sheets, even though I've never have. Uh, so that's pretty much it. This lesson was about paragraphs, and I hope you learned how to make a paragraph in HTML. Subscribe, hit the notification bell, and if you found this this tutorial useful, hit the like button and by all means sign up for my newsletter because sometime in the future I am going to create a community and if you're on the newsletter I'll be able to send out a, a, a notice to you that we've created the community and the community will be for us to communicate with each other about uh, whatever we're doing here on this website, which is a lot. There's going to be a lot coming down the pike, so uh, it would be worthwhile. So anyway, I hope you have a good day. I hope you learned a few things, and uh, I'll see you in the next lesson. Bye.